Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. For today, I'm going to do a quick one pager with the Backyard Memories uh, collection by Fab Scraps. And for the life of me, this video has been done for a while, but uh, the voiceover just never happens. So at the moment, I'm doing a voiceover in the car, waiting for the kids. <laughs> Story of a mommy's life, right? <laughs> So I just really loved the floral elements for these uh, in this collection and I really uh, even though I don't have small kids necessarily or even grandchildren then I have teenagers so the the, the pack still lends itself towards even any occasion with these gorgeous flowers. So I'm just backing my photo one photo of my daughter horse riding um, on one of the plain cardstock well i'm saying plain it's like a textured green element uh paper and i'm using that and backing it with or using it on top of this uh, floral paper or leaves botanical kind of paper and really really loved how uh, the colors just kind of mix with what she's wearing the greens and the blue of the sky picking up all of those gorgeous colors and then obviously the blue with the orange as the complementary color uh, it just really worked out great so clustering a little bit and i'm happy with the cluster there the reason why I like doing one pagers, uh, I do it in between my project life uh, pages. So every now and again, I like to throw in a one pager and it just uh, completes my album for me. I, I get the opportunity to make a big fuss over one photo and then also still have the weekly kind of uh, documenting of whatever happened in the week, the ordinary moments. So this was my daughter on a horse called Shivas and I am going to be stenciling using some white gesso. Uh, actually this is clear gesso. It is a Zelen brand that I personally don't think is good for anything else but uh, stenciling and adding some texture because it's a very gritty uh, gesso. So I'm just mixing it with some color glow powders and this color glow powder is amazing. You saw how light blue it was and how very little I added and then once you add it it's just all over. And so I'm adding a little bit of magic powder by 13 Arts just to make it a little bit thicker so that when I do stencil it it uh, doesn't flow too much but like I said with the Zelen gesso that is not a worry really because it is thick enough and I messed up my stenciling and it it happens you know <laughs> I kind of overworked it uh, I wanted the different kind of tones of blue in there um, but just absolutely overworked it and it did smudge and smear in various places and in the end that is okay what can't be covered up we use to our benefit and uh, add some extra elements to the page some overworked stenciling so I think in the comments down below let me know how you stencil and what your tips and tricks are for events like these where it's just smudged a little bit um, but like I said I'm just gonna once it's dry put my photo a bit more offside or off center so that it then uh, kind of hides the major over stenciling <laughs> over there uh, I'm also going to use this color glow powder just with a spritz of water and I'm going to add some splatters to the page as well and you saw again it was really just a kind of uh, fluff of the brush on that color glow powder and one spritz and it just creates this gorgeous color payoff with of course shimmer so all of us like a bit of shimmer and uh, bling <laughs> at times and this definitely does have and you can even see it in the texture paste uh, as it dried the little bit of shimmer there using some very old foam tape that I have to just kind of plump up that uh, photo over there and then I'm going to use uh, Oba glue which my Oba glue is finished and <laughs> in trying to get the last bit out I made such a mess like I I had Oba glue on my taps on the soap dispenser on pretty much everything once this was done uh, and yes not to the way to use Oba glue I'm very sure but nonetheless it did create that little bit of uh, 3d effect give it that little bit of lift from the page that I needed for these elements to have just to stand up um, on top of that foam picture and uh, some of the other stenciling just 
I like that. So like I said, in my, especially in my project life, I like doing this uh, one pager kind of thing. Um, and there I can use a bit more texture without going uh, full 3D mixed media kind of effect. Uh, it just allows for a bit more space and a bit more opportunity to do that. I'm going to use one of the words in this sentiments uh, cluster here at the bottom. I think I'm going to use adventurous because this girl is scared of nothing. She grabs every opportunity with both hands and both feet and head all in and uh, isn't scared of anything. And so she took on horse riding just a few months ago and really has thrown herself into it completely and is already uh, doing quite well. And uh, that's pretty much what she talks about is horses. And so this adventurous girl on this adventurous horse called Shivas uh, just kind of made it so that I really enjoyed this page <laughs> doing a, a special layout for them making a little bit of a tag just to give it a name um, so that I could you know remember the horse's name because also with all the horses that she's riding I don't know which one's which so this one is Shivas and I am gonna be writing that on the tag and then just taking some thread uh, through that little eyelet and letting it kind of hang out of the photo uh, or look like it's hanging out of the photo. Of course it isn't really because, you know, we just tuck it in there. But uh, it, it's the thought that counts. So I'm just uh, kind of taking, I think, four strings of this th rope or thread. Sorry, rope. Thread and kind of cutting it so that it would just tuck, tuck in there underneath the photo. Um, but I am adhering it so it's not actually hanging. It's not going to move or anything like that. Uh, writing with a Faber-Castell fine nib or super fine nib pen here. The Petortis pens I really like because they are waterproof so um, that works for me uh, for various things in the Bible journaling and in uh, my memory keeping. So yes, sticking down that tag then like I said it looks like it's floating or hanging off the photo. It's not really, it's tucked up with a lot of Ulba glue <laughs> and then uh, uh, even the thread is tucked in underneath the photo with Alba glue. And then that I'm calling a page before I overwork something else. And it looks <laughs> not as well as the overworked stenciling. Um, but then it was such an enjoyable page. Thanks Fab Scraps. And thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye bye.